employers that are in the, this range of education. It's not all. It's not all. And their demands are completely different from day to day. Yeah. So the common country, the common, if you want to talk about common, the common ideology that they use today in most business in our country is that they don't go and ask specifically for something, they want someone more rounded, they want someone who's got a, so that, say so as a given example, it could be an insurance company, they actually go and employ not someone who's very who's very knowledgeable at insurance. Yeah. You can't employ someone who's actually Have the done their medical degree. Oh. Because one of the uh, key operations is covering health. It's only part of the business. So they get that knowledge they from the... They need that specific. So that's why they would, put, they would take someone on who has actually got a medical degree to be an insurance agent or insurance, to be in the insurance office. And then they have what you class as a, an internal SME. That's how they do it. That's how the New Zealand modern business tends to try and do things at the moment. In the old days, which is only 10 years ago, they wouldn't do it. Today they do it. Ten years time will change anything. So everything moves on. And the corporates have to get ahead. The way to get ahead is to change. That's a big problem. So you're asking for a moving target. It's actually what you're asking for. That's why that's why the tutors you have, you ask them they can't succeed what they want to know. Because the real world is a moving target. Because that's the only way I came here, because like I thought uh, after doing a diploma it's going to be, you can know more and I find it, you know, I need to learn more, so I came here to the degree. So once I'd done with the degree, I said, oh, maybe I'm going back to do the master. You, you know, the same, the same thoughts that you say right now, what you yeah. just said, is the same thoughts you have someone in Melbourne sort of, well, yeah. you know, someone will be sitting down having lunch in one of the malls, and it's an exactly the same conversation they have. They felt that they had to go to Melbourne to expand and get more knowledge. But the same. And then the same thing in Kuala Lumpur. The same thing in Harvard University in America. The same thing in Oxford in England. So in Oxford, in the only way just to get get to work. Basically, yeah. To start with. It's yeah. funny, you know, you take Australia. Right? 23.5 million people there now. Uh, the brightest university isn't in Melbourne. It isn't in Sydney. It isn't even in Adelaide. It's in Toowoomba, which is a, an hour's drive outside of Brisbane. I haven't been this way. No. So it's in the Woodlands. And that's their brightest. And same here, you think. Christchurch, Wellington, Wellington, you'd think they'd have the best university in New Zealand. It's not. Currently the highest performing is in the city. Before. And, it start, and it's losing. It's yeah. losing. And, and like people talk about Massey. Well, Massey is just an average university. Have you heard about the news?